your struggles keep you near the cross and may your troubles show that you need God as usual Kevin Bond is giving us a master class in proper placement technique and voicings and the fact that he's inspired so many of the great gospel musicians that we study means that he is worth study uh, personally you know in this song I like the fact that he doesn't overplay he stays true to the melody and I'm just to be honest with you I'm gonna always prefer songs where the musician is supporting a strong melody versus some guy that's just blazing and the melody is not there if you guys wonder why i choose certain songs you're not going to benefit from songs without clear melodies you don't know where to use them you don't know what to do with it i'm starting this video cooking today because <laughs> if, if you want to play better you have to learn to support melodies this song has a strong melody song emotional component so let's learn the song together you could break the song down yourself if you wanted to but you're here because you want to learn the song faster and because you want to understand what you're doing so let's start from the top may your struggles keep you near the cross madison ryan ward man beautiful voice Okay, so what we have here is a, a really simple movement that's based on, if we're in a key of B flat, that first chord there, we're gonna have, it's a regular E flat major seven, and look how it's voiced here. And then the second chord is the B flat over the D. Then the second chord is just a C minor seven. But I like going, da -da -da. And then you have the near the cross. Near the cross. So, so, and this follows my system of how to move to chords, right? We're moving to an F chord. So he's starting with the G. This is a minor here. And then you have the dominant chord next in that red section, right? And this type of chord is gonna be called a flat nine, flat five it's the same as an f sharp major chord over a c dominant so uh, let's go to the next part and may your troubles show that you need god oh my goodness man those are the same chords that we did before then you you need so this is a G minor 9 this is a G minor 11 here need this is the sharp 11 I also discussed this chord here which is a major chord over a dominant it has a bright sound he's using a he's using a brighter dominant sound to lift you up to tell you that you need God right because remember music has emotional context you See, so that part It's a movement based on an F minor 7 See So it's just based on an F minor 7 chord Okay And then this is, this is a B flat Flat 9, flat 5 Which is the same as an E major chord Over a B flat dominant, B-flat dominant. That was such a, that was so masterful with both this, what the singer is doing. I didn't know which one I wanted to listen to <laughs> while they were playing that. So let me listen again and uh, let's try to play that. Oh, she's going off man. and he's going off too. <laughs> so da, 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 da. now check this out let's keep on going let's end the song no way, no so um
So, so, to C minor 7, to the flat 5, to the B major 7. And now he has the secondary dominant, which is an E uh, dominant. And this is leading us to an A. And I think he may have a dominant chord here, which means that this is a C sharp in, in this voicing. Let me listen to that again. Yeah, I think that, I, I believe that's right. You know so. So what he's doing here is he's implying the, the, the G minor 6, which is just a G minor chord with the E on it. So here's that chord again, the 9 flat 5. So that's going to be da -da, and then okay, so you have a diminished chord here. Okay, that's a, a that's a nice little diminished lick here. So the way you want to look at this is that it's encircling a G chord. So the way you want to look at this is uh, I'm playing a G minor chord. What are some things that I can do to embellish this G minor? So you can go under it, which is an F sharp and play diminished. You can go over it and play an A diminished. And so you're encircling the G minor. So that's what's happening. And then he goes to his G minor. Let me keep going. Uh. So that chord there, that, that's a Kevin Bond voicing. That's actually a G7 13 sus going to uh, a C dominant nine. So the way that works is someone's gonna say, well, how is this? This is just a minor chord. Well, if you take in the left hand and you add a G and an F, you can see that it's a, it's a sus voicing, which means that it's a G sus leading to a C. That's where I get my tension and release from. Because these chords work together as a pair. Right, and then, and then he's going to this kind of a voicing here, where this this B flat thirteen sus. Now this is just me talking here, okay? So this is just how I remember. This channel is me, just how I see music, man. So <laughs> you guys could have a different opinion on this, but just kind of how I see this. So this B flat thirteen sus here is related to an F minor nine. You hear that? The ear hears those as similar. So when I said before to do this phrase over the F minor nine, that also works with the B flat 13 sus. And he may have even done that. C, C. So the, the the reason that helps you is because you can you can interchange those two chords. So you can have you can have it as an F minor nine. You can put it over to B flat, right? So so that gives you options. So. So that, that, I love that because he's using these nice open voicings where the hands are stretched there. So this is just moving to an A minor seven, but notice he approaches this from a half step. So you just take all these notes up a half step. <laughs> so. So this song contains all the elements of the things that I discuss in my videos here on this channel. 
and in my overall system. So the song will be on my website. I also invite you to check out our community of musicians where we have well over 1,000 members, all with the desire to learn and grow and get to their goals faster by not wasting time on focusing on the wrong thing. So for more info on that, see the link in the description. And thank you again for watching. It's been great, guys. Go study the song. Go study Kevin Bond. We're going to see you guys next time. May our struggles keep you near the cross and may your troubles show that you need God and may your battles in the way they should and may May